Oh. Okay. What's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is dia thank you so much for joining us for today's video now i just want to apologize in advance if you can hear sounds in the background um there is currently a construction going on outside my apartment and there's really nothing i can do about that so i'm gonna try and speak as loud as possible yeah but i'm kind of in a hurry so let's get right down into today's video all right so in today's video we're going to be talking about yet again bath and body works fragrance mist i know i know but recently they had their 495 um sale and i had previously gone there to check out their four scents and i had my eyes on two mists in particular so i have the mist with me here um chasing fireflies and pumpkin pecan waffles and so when they had the mist like the they had the mist sale i was like nah i have to you know just get my hands on them and i specifically limited myself to two because i did not want to go overboard and honestly i am so proud of myself because i did so well that being said so in this video we're going to be talking about these two fragrance mists um i'm very excited to share my opinion um like my review on this particular mist because i have seen some mixed reactions well not mixed reactions in particular but you know there's some conversation going on around chasing fireflies and i just want to add my two cents um but yes if you want to find out how i feel about these fragrance mists then definitely stick around and keep on watching okay so i'm going to start off the review with chasing fireflies because i feel like if you tapped on this video it's most likely because of this fragrance mist but let's let's get into it so a lot of people are saying that this smells like fairy tale and i agree and i disagree so um like i said i previously went to the the shop to go check out the um four cents and i did um try the perfume itself the chasing fireflies perfume and that one does smell like fairy tale i remember my first impression of the perfume was oh this is this is like the floral version of fairy tale because fairy tale is um is fruity is sweet right um i think maybe because around that time i'd already sprayed the perfume when i sprayed the mist i didn't really catch the difference but then when i finally got my hands on the mist itself this does not smell anything like um fairy tale and this is just my opinion by the way um oh my goodness have i spoken about the packaging though there's this matte thing going on with the um what is what is this i don't know what it's called but the the thing based on the bottle and i really love that and the the writing doesn't feel like it's been printed on it's like you can feel the right i don't even anyway i feel like i'm wasting time let me let me describe what this smells to you guys okay so the fragrance notes we have here uh golden pear jasmine blooms illuminated woods when i sprayed this when i finally got my hands on this and i sprayed this here hold on okay this smells this smells nothing well no this does not it doesn't smell like fairy tale at all but the perfume does the perfume does but anyway so this this is like a a, a sweet floral fragrance that has like this mild notes of wood woodiness in it and um it's powdery it's very powdery like it's very powdery i'm i'm not a floral scent type of girl like I, i'm really into grooming scents but there are certain floral scents that are done in a certain way that just makes me like them and chasing fireflies is honestly one of those scents i feel like this is such an elegant scent it's not light it's not light at all but it's not too too heavy um but i've also seen some people compare this to dahlia some people said this smells like dahlia i have never used dahlia before i don't know what that smells like but if dahlia is also like a, a floral scent i can see where the similarities are coming from but this doesn't smell like fairy tale in my opinion the fragrance mist does not smell like fairy tale the fragrance the perfume itself the perfume itself does smell a little bit it's especially in opening it does smell like fairy tale um but it to me it's kind of like the floral version of fairy tale moving on to pumpkin pecan waffles now this one right here listen like i said i am a grooman girly i love grooman scents and this is honestly one of my favorites i would say though 
even though i love grumant scents i don't typically like the grumant scents that lack sweetness in them i've tried a few and i honestly was not a huge fan i'm talking fragrances that smell like cupcake that it's not sweet it's just straight up cupcake scent no sweetness no vanilla no nothing i typically do not gravitate towards those ones i don't like them so i tend to avoid them but this one however it does smell like um a bakery it does smell to me it smells like um a freshly baked bread and i don't know why it's giving bread but freshly baked bread that has like pumpkin spice in it but it can also maybe it's like it's waffles like bread i don't know i don't know but oh <laughs> okay um, um let me behave honestly this is this is very therapeutic for me um whenever i'm going through a hard time talking about fragrances just put me in a really good mood yeah and uh it's shh, shh. i'm going off let me just move on but yeah this smells like freshly baked goodies like pastries that is sweet but let's talk about the notes though uh, i didn't read the notes to you guys so this has maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar so there's an element of sweetness in this which is why i like i like it a lot but if there was no sweetness in this whatsoever i probably wouldn't have liked it as much and can we just talk about the packaging like i i like the whole leaves thing that is like going on here and the packaging is really cute listen i'm so excited that i didn't miss that sale <sighs> But yes, I'm talking too much. Anyway, just I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, Chasing Fireflies, in my opinion, does not smell like um, fairy tale. The perfume itself, however, to me, smells like the floral version of fairy tale. Um, this is a floral scent that has like notes of wood in it. But the wood, the wood to me is not too, too, too pronounced, but it's there and um it's very powdery it has this powdery effect to it and i absolutely love it i honestly feel like this is a very elegant scent it's not heavy but it's not light i feel like it's kind of like a little above medium honestly it's it's really good um but yes and pumpkin pecan waffles this is a very gourmandy scent it has well to me it smells very much like freshly baked pastries that is sweet um i love the scent i love it so much that i actually got the wall flower as well because i wanted my room to smell like pumpkin spice i i just really enjoyed that scent um but yes that is it for today's video i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about these two fragrances that i got from the 495 sale and i especially wanted to share my opinion on this one with you guys because i've seen um different different um versions people's reviews and other blah blah i don't even know what i'm saying at this point but bottom line i just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys um but yes thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys in my next one bye